So today we're doing a free agent only rebuild. I can only get players from this place right here. This list. Oh yeah, the free agency pool. No rule five, no first player draft, no trades, no waiver pickups, only through free agency. So let's do it. So literally like right here, you can see zero out of 26 in the MLB roster. I literally have nobody on the MLB roster at all. So how am I going to get players through this? this place right here so yeah i need 26 players on my mlb roster my current budget is just shy of 70 million let's do it let's do it how am i gonna go about this i'm assuming i'm not gonna spend all 70 million the issue is just the quality of player so i guess let's start with pitching kwan young kim let's do like a little two-year club option bump it down boom there's the first player and then the roster that I'm using, it'll be right here. If I forget to put it in the edit, then I'll put it in the pinned comment down below. It'll be the name and also the roster or the, the user ID, the user day. Holy cow, the user ID and the roster name. I'll put it either on screen or in the pinned comment so you guys can see it because the roster that I use, they have some MPB and KBO players. And I don't want to use them all because there's quite a few that they have in here. There's some in like each position. And I do kind of feel like that's cheesy, but since they're here, I am going to use a couple of them. I'm going to use the pitcher. So we've got three pitchers right now. I'm going to bring in Mike Fultonavich as well. I'm probably only going to go for a year with him. Throw him in the rotation. Can you just take the money that I'm offering you? Oh, four. Okay, so that's four starters. We're going to go, let's go Brad Anderson for a year. We can do that. We'll put him in the rotation as well. He probably might stay there. Maybe four and a half. Is that good? Five. If he doesn't take five, we might have to go somewhere else. Okay, five is good. And then I need a long reliever. Who though? Who, who, who? Isn't Julio Tehran playing in one of the independent leagues? Like the Frontier League or something like that? I think he is. I think. I think he might be. I think. I think so. I don't know why I know that, but I, I think I think he is. I'm going to bring in Cole Stewart. I think I know that because I was like going through the rosters of the independent leagues just to kind of see what players were there one day. And I think I saw him. There's another guy... That I probably will sign because I've kind of gone through this already to kind of see who I'm going to get. Ooh, let's go Trevor Rosenthal. Little club option here. It'll probably cost like eight, nine mil to get him in. Eight and a half for over two years. Not terrible. And then what I'm thinking here is we can probably be a little cheap with our relievers here. Let's let's kind of see. Maybe like a, like a Sal Romano for a mil. 1.5. Okay, we can work with that. Let's see who who else has got some nice stats that we can work with kevin mccarthy this has to be the kevin mccarthy that i'm i'm like always really like let's get him into the team let's see what we got here well, let's go with a mil is it gonna is it gonna cost me a mil it's not it's gonna cost me more 1.5 let's see who else we got marlon willis who is who, who is marlon willis let's take a look here marlon willis he's in the kansas city royals organization okay so since he's technically part of the Royals organization, I won't sign him. I also think Kevin McCarthy is part of the team. Let's see. Kevin McCarthy. Um, no, he's actually in the American Association for Pro Pro Professional Baseball. So he's actually not with the team, like an MLB squad right now. So let's see who else we get. I, like the more I think about it, some of these guys could be on teams. Like isn't Sal Romano on a team? I'm pretty sure he is um let's see here who is he with right now he is is he on a team oh did he did he retire he did he retired in april okay so he's actually retired so you know what i'm gonna bring him out of retirement and i'm gonna bring him back into the <laughs> into the majors i'm giving him the call i'm giving him a call and then realistically without having to like me going back and forth trying to see if these guys are actually in the majors or not I'm just I'm just gonna sign some players and if they're if they're on a team they're on a team if not whatever you know like I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and stress about going back and forth trying to figure out if somebody's actually on a team or not if they're in the free agency pool they're they're in the free agency pool so let's see who else we can get here let's go with Pedro Baez I have a feeling he's gonna be super expensive what's let's what do we got four mil four point five five four point nine just just short all right let's Let's take a look. So we have our five starters. So that's that's a start. We we got people to actually take the mound, and that's 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 a good place to start. So we've got five starters, and I could probably also get a long reliever. What one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Oh, we do, we do, we do, we do. Okay, perfect. I, I just miscounted there. I just missaw the number. And I think I usually rock four middle relievers and then I rock a setup guy and a closer. And I think we have everything that we need for that as well. So it'll be one, two, three, four, setup, closer. Okay, so boom, we've got, we've got our bullpen sorted. Now I need two catchers. And then the rest are just whatever we can get. All right, catchers. I'm going to go this guy because I'm assuming he's got a, a low contract. He does. And then, I mean, catching options here aren't aren't fantastic like at all. So I guess we go, what's his name? The water buffalo or like the buffalo or the bison. What What's Wilson Ramos nickname? Either way, he's in the team. He, he's here, 5.4 mil. First base, let's go with... Uh, let's go with McBroom. He's got good numbers versus lefties. And then let's see if we can get someone versus righties. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Maybe Moreland's? Justin? Matt Adams? Uh, I guess we go Moreland. I, he's probably going to be like a bench bat for us. Second base. We'll go with like Brock Holt for a season. Some of these guys I might actually bring back, to be honest. Like some, some of these guys might, might be on the team next year. Realistically. Like that could... That could definitely be a possibility just as like a bench bat or if they do really well we might use them um let's see let's bring in ah, do i want torres he's really good for he's or he's good first lefties we'll come back uh third base wow these players are not that good not that good let's like is ruble four mil Ugh. Anderson Tejeda, last I knew he was on the Cardinals. I don't know if they really signed him or not, but he's in the team now. And then let's see, left field, Upton's on the Mariners, so I'll avoid him. Philip Irving, you know what? I'll give him a shot. I'm pretty sure he's playing in the one of the independent leagues. He plays for the Lexington Legends, I believe his name, uh, the name of the team is, in Kentucky. Pretty sure he plays for that team. And we'll, we'll, we'll bring him in. We'll bring him in, see what he can do. We can go also with Conforto. I feel like that's just a no-brainer. I he's the best he's the best player available so let's get him into the team it's probably gonna cost me what seven mil yeah we'll get him into the team we'll pick up dom t williams as well and now i feel like we're, we're close but we're not we're not done so let me let me see how many names we got on the list and then we'll we'll add accordingly all right so i need four more four more and yeah man it's, there's just not a lot of good good players available you know like that, that that's the big the big killer right now like i just like could i get puig yeah but like realistically is that is that really going to change the the landscape of the team like is it going to make it that much better we'll go travis shaw for a year just for like the numbers versus righties he's got that power maybe it'll help us out like realistically i can't sign any of the guys and trade them so like does it like you know what i mean so like i can't use them in a in a move later on where it's like oh yeah he was really good we can trade them and get someone in return. I can't trade anybody. I can only sign free agents. So I got to be smart about this and figure out who I want to keep, who I want to get rid of, things like that. So, ooh, this is tough. I guess Adam Eaton for a year, even though I, I doubt he's going to be good. He wants too much money. Why, why do everybody want so much money? Why do everybody want so much money? Yeah, great English. And so let's see. I think that was what? Two players that we signed. Shaw and Eaton. So we got two more to go. Probably should be two infielders. And then I think that's it. And then we got to go through the season, see what happens. Oof. Let's go with, I guess, uh, you know what? Let's go, let's go with the, let's go with the Panda. Sandoval. And we'll finish it off with, uh, yeah, I guess Torres. I've been messing about with it for how many attempts now? Oh, this team's going to be bad. This team's going to be real bad. I'm projecting like 60 wins at most 60 wins at most that's my that's my prediction that's definitely my prediction put your predictions in the comments how many games does this team win yeah oh uh, wow let's let, let's get the team sorted here we'll put brett anderson there a little a little bit of this a little bit of this we'll move him here flip those two so we've got our rotation set just like this this is what we got the beautiful rotation we've got the bullpen looking like this Nice little average of probably like a 68. Actually, it might be into the 70s. Maybe, maybe, maybe 70. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere around there. And then this is going to be a mess. We're going to go like this. Left field will throw him. 
Second base, we'll go with Brock Holt for now. First base, we'll go Mitch Moreland. Catcher, we got the, the Buffalo Man. Tejeda at short. We got Conforto. Our DH is going to be Shaw. We'll have Conforto at center field is fine. And then Adam Eaton. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess that's the team. I'm going to I'm gonna rearrange the, the lineup, but we'll, we'll do that for the team. That'll probably be our starting lineup. And then versus lefties, some of these other guys will come in like McBroom, Torres, and we'll go from there. Sandoval might actually need to start. Might. Uh, ah, maybe. I just don't know what position he'll play first. Does he play over Mitch Moreland? Yeah, he does. Okay, so there we go. That's that's our team. Like I said, I'm going to change the the order, but oh, this might be the worst team in baseball, huh? It is. Rank 30th. Yeah, that makes sense. This is bad. See you guys at the end of the year. All right, so season one's over. I uh, may have spilled water on my shirt. Like I spilled my cup. Hence why. Different shirt. Either way, not, not important, not important for the video. Obviously, I just know some of you guys are going to be like, that's not the right shirt. That's not the shirt that you started the video in. Yeah, I'm, you know, sometimes things happen where you, you make a movement. Next thing you know, cups flying 40 feet in the air and uh, it kind of spills. Either way, we're here to talk about how bad this team is because I already know it's going to be bad. And as you can see, these are your award winners. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm thinking about it. I got to get super lucky in free agency, right? Like I got to get real lucky. Um, we finished, what the record not going to, not going to pop up this year yet. 63 and 99. Um, yeah, kind of where I expected us to be. Uh, I actually was kind of thinking we were going to be a little bit worse and we were the worst in the AL. What about the national league? We, we're going to have the number one pick which sucks because i can't do anything with that because i can't you know draft anybody so season one in the books we've got cole stewart realistically a lot of the, a lot of these guys i'm probably not bringing back which could be good could be bad i think some of them i will bring back because they're pretty cheap contracts like yardley i probably won't because he's regressing but like hunter wood i probably will because he's developing we've got romano who's developing had a great year McCarthy, decent. You know, Pedro Baez is regressing, even though he had a fantastic year. I won't bring him back. And then Trevor Rosenthal was pretty bad. So I have that club option. I am not going to take it. Starters, Kwan Young Kim looks really good. He's super cheap for a mil. I'm probably going to bring him back, either a long reliever or back end of the rotation guy. Sanga, developing, I'll probably keep him. Sasaki, developing, I'll probably keep him. Boltonavich was pretty bad, and so was Brett Anderson. So realistically, I. Probably I'm only keeping the top three pitchers. Two starting pitchers needed this offseason. And I don't really think I'm going to have a lot of money. I'll, I'll probably have enough to like, I'm going to have to spread out the money. Like Broom was kind of nasty. I've got arbitration for him. I'm probably going to bring him back. That that looks pretty good. Mitch Moreland, Philip Irvin. Wow. Uh, yeah, this seems bad. Holy cow. I'm like looking at these numbers. Has Dribble hit 27 home runs? Ooh, that's not bad. He's regressing a lot, though, so I don't know if I can bring him back. Conforto for 7 mil, I might bring back. I might. I might take that chance. We got Sandoval, Ramos, Tejeda, Shaw. Shaw was good. Shaw was decent. Yeah, I, I won't bring him back, but he was pretty decent. Bolt, and then Dom T. Williams. So overall, I've got, like, what, two names out of the offensive lineup that I'm going to keep. As we head into the offseason, this is where things going to get a little bit tough because I don't... I gotta be smart with my money you know i gotta bring in a whole new farm system because like all those uh one overall players zero overall players whatever you want to call them just retired most of them are pitchers so like i can just go and sign guys that are out like sixty thousand dollar contracts but the thing for me is we have 95 mil in the budget okay so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna reject this i'm gonna take this one and then who was the other guy i'm gonna take this one because it's 1.5 mil and I think I'm going to let the rest walk just because a lot of them are also older and they're going to regress. So I'm going to hold off and see what we can get for other positions. So now we're currently at, saved a little bit of money by letting go of Trevor Rosenthal. But we're at 99 million right now. And that's for the whole organization, including the minors. And obviously we need minor league players as well. So here, who is someone I think I think just the two pitchers down here are two that I'm like 100 percent interested in. So I'm just going to offer them arbitration. It's going to be 1.5 mil, exactly what I signed them for. And then 
how much does Irving want? 1.3. Can I like bump it down to a mil and I'd keep him either in the farm system or as a bench bet? I feel like that's not too bad at all. Cole Stewart, how much does he want? 1.5. I just don't know. I don't think he's going to be good. Same thing with Yardley. Same thing with Torreya. So I think I'm just going to go somewhere else. I've got to offer some contracts. I'm trying to think of like what we're going to be. This is probably like 6 mil in contracts right here. Maybe. So I probably have like 80 to 85 mil in contracts that I have to work with for the year. I mean, that's that's pretty good. The thing is, I need two starting pitchers. I need almost an entire bullpen. And then I need almost an entire offense. That's... Ugh. Ooh, this could be tough. This could be real tough. So, like, realistically, I'm probably looking at maybe someone like a Zach Eflin. Zach Eflin's usually pretty solid for a season or two. He, ooh, he only wants, like, how much does he want for, like, two years? Almost 17 mil each year. Good Lord. Um, Tyler Anderson's usually good for a season or two. So he could be a guy that I go after as well. Relievers, you usually can find players, like, in this range that's really good and also really cheap. And then I'm trying to see if... Um, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit and there is going to be that draft pick that I didn't sign. So wherever he is in this free agency pool, I'm picking him up. Like that's just, that's just how it's going to be because the, the, he's somewhere in here and I'm going to find him. It's probably these guys right here. Not Marte, not Rondon, but Lewis Liss, probably a player that I drafted by, or the CPU drafted in the first year player draft. And now he's available, but players like that, there's, there's going to be someone because we had the first overall pick. They're somewhere in here. I just don't. Are they a pitcher? They might be a pitcher, which would suck because I don't really want that to be the case. But yeah, we're going to we're going to sign some players. I just don't know who there's there's some good players available like Josh Bell. I'd spend like 10 mil on Josh Bell because he always puts up these kind of numbers right here. And I'd work with that for sure. Second base looks a little weak. Third base looks a little weak. Short stop, depending on how some of these guys did. That might be kind of weak, too. Outfield's usually pretty easy to find players, so I'm not too worried about that, but we're in some trouble. Here we go. This is this is what we've done. We've, we've done a lot. I hate that the transaction menu's over here now. It's it's all this is throwing me off. Um free agency. Nope. I want a roster history. I'm I'm all over the place. Okay, so a lot of recent signings to fill out the roster. I brought in JD Martinez. I don't know why. Um I didn't really need him considering I know that I'm gonna be bad this year, but you know what? Brought him in him in 6.8 mil he had a pretty decent season last year so if he can just give us like somewhat close to this i'd be happy bunch of joe randoms bunch of random more like more random players we brought in this guy probably not going to use him running montero could use him i just don't know if i will um maybe we got dom t williams back we got these two guys like i mentioned we've got cantorino schaefer so players that i probably won't use but fill out the farm system for pretty cheap and then this is where we start bringing in the free agents. I had to find cheap guys to fill out the team, but also players that could potentially help us out. Most likely platoon situations. Cal Farmer is the first one. Matt Beatty, the next one, or Beatty. It might be Beatty, and I've been saying Beatty this whole time. It's this guy's here. Uh, VR came in. We've got Josh Bell, which I said was probably going to be my main target because he's usually pretty cheap, and he puts up really good seasons. So I figured if I can get him for cheap, under 10 mil for three years, I'm all in. Taylor Ward's in. Had an okay year last year. We'll see how he does this season. A platoon guy again. Philip Irving's back. We got Tejeda back. We got McBroom back. Joey Gallo came in. 14 mil. I thought, you know what? Let's give him a shot. He's got a potential. He only played 80 games last year. So I'm thinking if we can give him a full season, he can hit 30 plus home runs. I'm in. Like, it, it's not the greatest, but for half the price of what Judge was going to be, or half the price of what, like, who else is going to be a $30 million player? Probably Trey Turner were probably the two big names that were available in free agency. I felt like, let's just go get Gallo half the price. And he's probably still going to give us, you know, close to 100 RBIs, 30 plus home runs. I'll take it. You know, it's, it's not too bad money-wise, money-wise. Um, Arvias came in, $7 ish We got Dansby Swanson for $7 million. Really bad season. Makes sense why we got him for so cheap. But hopefully he can do well. Uh, Conforto's back. Gutierrez is back. Heaney didn't pitch at all last year. Held his rating. Um, actually went up on a couple stats. So I thought for three mil as a long reliever, why not? Uh, McCarthy's back. Trevor May came in, had a bad year, got him for 3.5 mil. Probably could have got somebody else, but he only pitched 18 innings. So like if I can get double the innings, triple the innings out of him, and he can get back to like a three ERA solid. Romano's back. Hunter Woods back. Daniel Norris came in on a super cheap deal, two mil. 
Uh, Will Smith came in, had a really bad year, but again, only pitched five innings. I got him for two million. I think this will be a good steal for us. Sanga, Sasaki, Tyler Anderson came in on like a $7 million deal. Kwon Young Kim's back. Severino was my big splash for just shy of 20 million. Um, I thought about going out and getting some other guys. Yeah, I just, I just felt like this was the move. I felt like this was the move. I have some plans also with the money that we've spent. Because if you look at where we're at budget wise, we have like half our budget to work with next year. And I have a player in mind that I want, and we should be able to afford him with all these expiring contracts and just going after a couple different names. And I feel like it'll help us out in a, a couple different areas of our game. So I, I don't expect this to be good this year. You know, like I've also changed up the staff a little bit to give us better coaches. This is like my main pitching coach I always go for. Brett Walters. Yes, the K's are dropped, but he's got the hits and the walks per nine. I love that. Um, I think this guy, was this guy already here? I don't remember. I, no, I think I signed this guy too. I just like the power, the contact, and the clutch. And then David Bell got picked up. And so, yeah, I've been trying to get different coaches, but I've also been spending my money on players. So I've been trying to balance everything out, see if the coaches do anything. But we're in the regular season. Like I said, I don't expect this to be too good. So let's see what happens. Um... Yeah, 91 and 70 won the division. Ex like, what? 91 and 70, we won the division. How? Everybody was just bad. The Yankees were terrible. Why were the Yankees so bad? What happened? Did they lose everybody? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, they lost everybody. They got this guy, but like, they brought in Wilson. I mean, yeah, okay. That, I guess, but like, holy cow. What? I mean, we're competitive with the rest of the league. Let's take a look and see where it kind of ranked. Last year, like, I assume we ranked towards the bottom of everything. Where are we this year? Batting average, we're eighth. Runs, we're eighth. Hits, we're ninth. You know, let's see, runs batted in, we're probably around the eighth, ninth spot. We are. What about pitching? Did pitching just, like, jump through the roof? Let's see here. We're 14th, so, I mean, yeah. I'm this completely different team, but the fact that we're... We're that high? Where are we? 16th for runs. We're 15th for earned runs. I mean, okay. We have an award. It's gold gloves. Okay, so Mitch, MVP. Freddie Freeman, MVP as well. DeGrom and Glasnow, Cy Young winners. All right. Reliever of the year goes to Hayter and Loop. Valera and JJ Blinde, rookies of the year. Holy. Uh, the, the, the division. Andrew Heaney, not too bad. I'll take that for sure. Uh, a little bit better than what Cole Stewart did last year, but I'll take it. Hunter Wood was really good. Trevor May was fantastic. Like I told you, if he could give me three-ish times the innings and get back to like a 3-5 ERA, I'd be happy he even did better. Sal Romano was fantastic. Kevin McCarthy, a little bit of a letdown, but I'll take it. Daniel Norris was great. Will Smith, like I said, you, you give him those those games and we're looking, we're looking good. Give him those innings. Severino, fantastic. Love it. Same thing with Kwon Young Kim. Tyler Anderson, Sasaki was great. And so Usenga sucked a little bit. So yeah, that's that's not ideal, but like that's that's a good rotation. Are we gonna win the playoffs? I don't think so. I just don't think we have the the team to do it just yet compared to like some of the other teams. Like McBroom was pretty decent. He is regressing, but he wasn't too bad off the bench. Tejeda was pretty good off the bench this year. Ward. Not bad. Not bad. I had him mostly versus lefties. So not bad. I I brought him back for a two-year deal. Yeah. I'm down for that for a mill. Farmer. And then to the the uh the what is it called? The bench. The pitchers. There we go. So VR. Not great. I gave him a two-year deal. I gave him a player option, not a team option. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Um, I might just release him. Uh <laughs> Conforto wasn't that good. He's also regressing. So he leaves. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Josh Bell was fantastic. 35 home runs. Gallo gave me about 30 home runs, 72 RBIs. I'll take it. That's fine. I, I wish it was a little bit better, but I'll, I can work with that. I can work with that. He's also improving. So he's developing. JD Martinez, fantastic. Narvaez, great. Love to see the potential. Also went up. We've got Dansby. There we go. Got him for seven mil. And we're getting those kind of numbers. Love it. Matt Beattie. Yeah. Irving, not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. And then back to VR. So VR is probably the one we're going to take a little bit of hit with on the money. But outside of that, I feel like we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. I don't think we make the further rounds of the postseason, but I could be wrong. 
Um, I'm not wrong. And that's okay. That's fine. I didn't even expect to win the division. Like, that's that's a good first season jump. Or, I guess, second to first to second season jump. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's big moves. Now, we got to sort this out. All right. McBroom is regressing a little bit. And as good as he is off the bench, I, how much is it? A mil? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, Daniel Norris was pretty solid. My thing is like not working. All right. So how much does he want for a season in the bullpen? A three mil. I can work with that. Heaney. I don't know if he's going to hold his rating. How much does he want for a year? Again, bullpen spot. Two mil, I think. Man, walks are really an issue here, huh? uh for two mil i think I, I i think i can do that and then tyler anderson's regressing trevor may is like going up but going down at the same time so i think i'm gonna pass i'm noticing a lot more negatives like control clutch walks k's than positives realistically and he may end up being really good but i think i think it's just better to maybe go in a different direction same thing with will smith Narvaez, I would like to bring back for a year at least. If I can get him for, man, 9, 9.5. Nine, can I get him for 9.5? I'm trying to think of like other catchers that would be available. I don't think there's going to be much better. So I think for 10, we can work with that. And then JD Martinez is regressing too much to bring him back. He's declined his contract and became a free agent. That's fine. That's fine. That is exactly what I wanted. So that's perfect. Okay. Now I need to see how much, mo how much money we're going to have to work with. And I mean, based off of arbitration and everything, like I'm not gonna bring back Kim. I'm gonna bring back Wood, not Farmer. I don't know about him. How much does he want? Like under a mil, maybe. But Romano's coming back. I'll probably bring back Irving too. He hit 15 home runs. Like it's not bad. Along with almost 50 RBIs as a bench bat for probably like what? 1.5 mil, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then McCarthy, I think it's another 1.5 mil. It's depth, right? And it's not too expensive. So I think those are the moves. Oh yeah, Hunter Wood as well. And he can't be that expensive, 1.5. So no, no, no. Yes, 1.7 is fine. So we're up to almost 20 mil in pending offers, which means someone didn't sign, two players didn't sign. What are catcher options available? Um, It's probably the best one still, unless Alfaro was good, which he wasn't. So yeah, I think, I think Narvaez is the best one which sucks that he didn't take that 10 offer. Okay, so we've got, we'll probably have around, what are we at, 20 mil, so we have 70 to work with. Probably around 65, 60 mil to play with after we sign contracts and everything. That's plenty of money to build this team up. Like I said, two pitchers? Two pitchers is not bad, ooh, maybe three. Maybe three pitchers. Uh, plus a lineup, ooh, that might be tough. I might have to do some craziness. Uh, and I can't make trades, I can't make trades. Uh oh, we might be in trouble here. I might have to. I might have to take back Narvaez for right now. We'll see. We'll see what we get for season three. All right, season three. I know we're only ranked 14th, but like one, we have crazy good defense for once. The power. The I honestly think we're a little bit better. Let me show you. The pitching is probably our weakest point, but yeah, this is the player I was hinting at in season two that I knew could help us out in a mult like in multiple different areas. Jehe Otani. It was super expensive. Realistically, probably wasn't the best option. But you know what? I gave him the deal. You know, offensive or pitching wise, he's going to be solid. Offensively, he's going to be solid. So, like, I need him to give me what I paid for. We still have Severino. We still have Sasaki, Senga, and Freeland. Yeah, Freeland was really an option just because I couldn't really go after other options. And you're going to see why. So, we did bring back Heaney. It was a super cheap deal. I thought for $2 million, couldn't pass it up. We brought in Davinsky and Jimenez. Two, two cheaper options, and I felt like they'd give me two good seasons. I think I've also brought in a couple other guys. May not be pitching. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find it. Uh yeah. I, ooh, who else did I bring in? It was oh, this guy? Bouchard? And then a, there's a couple others that I brought in that are kind of sprinkled in throughout the entire area, but it's kind of like 60s, 70 rated players. But here's the team. We've got Gutierrez still back. We've got Newt Bar. I, I thought, you know what? He actually wasn't terrible last year. He, it's basically what we had, right? So let's bring him in. 
1.5 mil for the next two years. I'm fine with that. McBroom's still here. Tejeda's still here. Ward's still here. And then Dom T. Williams gets called up instead of, like, basically it was Conforto that he would have replaced. Kiner Falefa, late addition, 4 mil. I thought, you know what? He, he, he could be okay. <laughs> I couldn't afford anybody else. That's really what it came down to. But Donnie's in the lineup. Josh Bell's obviously still here. Gallo's still here. Davros, my other big splash for 14 mil. I thought, can't pass this up. It was either him, Chapman, or the other third baseman that was available. Who was the other third baseman that was available? Because I actually really considered this. Ah, uh, I'm going to find it because it is... Where is it? It was a third. It was a big name third baseman that was available. Who was it? It was Chapman. And then who was the other one that I was like, this might actually not be a bad option. Oh man, who was it? Who? Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't a big name. It was Gio Urshela. And the reason I was interested in Gio Urshela because look at the numbers he's been putting up. Those are good years. And he only cost 10 mil. So I could have gone for him for a season, but I thought, you know what? Let's let's go a, like a full deal. For Devers. I felt like the bat was just too good to pass up. Let's bring him in. So let's let's go with that. So we got Devers. We brought in Cody B. Cody Bellinger in the team for 13 mil. This is probably the worst money I spent, but I really needed an outfielder. And I thought at 28 years old, a potential. Let's hope that he shows that potential. He's also been improving the last two years. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, this is probably the stupidest 13 mil I've spent. Dansby still in the team. This guy only see potential. But he's got the hitting stats to start right away, and he only cost me 80k. This could be the best 80k we spend throughout the entire uh, rebuild. And then Philip Irving's still on the team, which, I mean, it changes a lot once you get to the left. He's like, you see Nishi, who's up to the top of the lineup. Taylor Ward comes in. And then we've got a couple others. It's just uh, McBroom should, probably should come in. I just, I don't know how to sneak him in unless I put him in left field. Yeah. So that's the team. I, I'm, I'm mixed about it. Like it could go really well, but it also could go really bad. Let's find out. All right, we're a wild card team. We had a tiebreaker with the Blue Jays, which is super unfortunate because we could have won the, the league right here. If we didn't lose this game, we would have been in the, uh, we would have been in first. So that's unfortunate. Actually, if we would have won either of these last two games, we would have won the division, which is super disappointing, but we do have a couple league leaders. Oh, just one, Devers. And then awards, another gold glove. Correa is your MVP, beating out Devers. You got Acuna on the other side. Cy Young goes to Bueller and Detmers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Any title, Freeman and Correa. Brooks Raley is the reliever of the year, along with Tyler Rogers. And then Nolan Gorman and Cody Thomas are your rookies of the year. So, an offensive player was sent down. Ooh. Ooh. Got sent down. Philip Irvin. He definitely, yeah. Yeah, I can see I can see why they did that. I don't know if there's anybody else that I can call up offensively. I don't think there is. I think it's all going to be... I can call it Montero. I mean... Let's see. 53, 59. Yeah, I mean, it's it's basically the same. So let's just call him back up. I mean, the, having the extra pitcher might not be the worst thing. But like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like... Honestly, he wasn't that bad. What was he? 341 ERA, 1.48 whip. I mean, having that extra arm might not be too bad in the postseason. And with how bad he was in the regular season, is he really going to help us out? Not really. Let's just rock with it. All right. Heaney was pretty solid. Love it. For two mil, great, great pickup. Cantorino signed him on a $60,000 contract. Pretty solid. I'll take it. Wood was great once again. Romano. Nor I mean, look at this bullpen. Yes, McCarthy was kind of iffy, but Davinsky, oh, 14 blown saves. Ooh, uh, let's change that up, sir. How did, whoa, I take back everything I said, but the bullpen was pretty good. Yeah, Jimenez is bad. The bullpen was pretty good. 14 blown saves. Oh my God. Um, Ozani was really good. We've got Sasaki, who's all right. Not too bad. Uh, Freeland, okay. Eh, not too bad. The whip's in a good spot, so I can work with that. And then Sanga again. Not, you know what? Solid. I like it. Solid. I like it a lot. So, outfield now. How are we? Ooh. Ooh. Our bench was bad. I guess Taylor Ward's going to come in and play some outfield. Um, let's see what we got. We got Torres. Good on base percentage. Good average. Just has no power. I mean, that was the big issue. Newbar actually good on base percentage. Maybe maybe we throw him in. What does he got? 59? 50. Uh, we'll try him out. We'll try him out. 
Uh, McBroom wasn't as good as he was last year. He also got very minimal appearances. Tejeda, Ward was good on base percentage wise, so I'll take it. And then Dom T. Williams. All right, let's take a look at our actual starters. So, Kanter Falefa, like I kind of knew he was going to suck. Oh, well. Otani. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got Josh Bell, who we got one more year. He's starting to regress, but still put up fairly good numbers. Joey Gallo. 100 RBIs, 41 home runs. I'm, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Oh, yeah. Devers was great. Bellinger. Kind of the same. So, eh. Dansby. A little disappointing. Like, really similar to last year. It's just like... You, did regress in some of the average on base percentage stuff like that Mishi wasn't bad just no power again not bad just no power at all new bar and then kind of left i mean we might we might be in a little bit of trouble for the postseason might be like this 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 might suck who do we have to play the angels like there's no way we win all right here we go oh we won we won we won okay so the only player i cannot change is otani so like everybody else can stay in the same spot, but like, like let's just hope um, we don't get to that point. Like we can keep Otani in the same spot or maybe I can move it around and make sure that he's just the DH no matter what. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Either way, facing the Mariners, I didn't even check to see what the the Angels lineup was looking like. So they've got Trout still. Uh, honestly, it's not, it's not too different. Couple changes like Jock, they almost traded for a few years back with Renifo and then the deal got canceled. And then, oh wait, I wanted to check the Mariners because now we're facing the Mariners. Let's go take a look at what they got. So that's a that's a Mariners team. They haven't changed. They got Kiermaier. That's that's really about it. Nobody else has changed. Okay. All right. I need Otani to win this game, and he does. Sasaki wins. Sevi, come on, somebody close it out. Close it out. Close it out. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got Otani again. I mean Sasaki, Severino. I might even be able to bump up Severino to the next spot, like right here. And then go like that. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Who are we facing? Toronto. Toronto was our was kind of a tough team. We, we lost to him in the tiebreaker. And Sosa's new. But that's that's the team. That's that's the Blue Jays. Okay, Otani. Otani, come on. Okay, Savvy. Yeah, okay. Sasaki. One more, one more. You get the sweep. All right, so now we're taking on the Mets. I don't want Sanga pitching here. So I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to keep Otani in the same spot. Like, let's just do that and leave it as is. Let's go take a look at the Mets lineup and see what they got. What, what do they have? What do they have? Marte, Nimmo. I mean, it looks like the teams are staying the same. What year are we in? We're two, two, three years later. And like, yeah, teams are just the same. I mean, like what they, they beat the Brewers and they beat the Dodgers. I mean, that's yeah. Okay. And we beat the Angels, the Mariners and the Blue Jays. Like, I'm feeling good. But them being the Dodgers, like that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. But this is this is the World Series. Here we go. I mean, this is this is where it comes down, right? Like we got a the ground's got a 5-3 ERA. Let's shut them down. It's a good start. Then we lose though. And another loss. Okay, two to two. There we go. There we go. To win it. To win it all. Let's let's do it. We gotta we gotta close it out at home. And you know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling like we need to whip out some nice, some something special. Maybe like a like the oranges or the blacks maybe like a blackout at home for this game that'd be kind of nasty we're not going to hop into the game obviously but we're going to do it um sevi can take the mound for us let's see here we're facing a lefty um whatever we'll, we'll stick it as is so here we go strike out ground out single and look we did not bring in brandon Nimmo in this rebuild i could have but i didn't look at that that's that's growth. That's progress. I can move and advance and win in a rebuild without Brandon Nimmo. It is possible. It is possible. A double play there was very, very unfortunate. But McBroom brings him in and we get the two runs. JD Davis ties it up though. And then Pete Alonso goes deep. Is this just not Sevy's day? Oh, Joey Gallo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Base is loaded for IKF doesn't do anything McBroom doesn't do anything and then we don't score with the bases loaded and no outs are we serious we couldn't score there that's that's unreal okay so a walk a fly out a fly out and then a two run home run by McBroom is McBroom MVP two for three on the day that's that's uh, okay uh, we're done with Sevy. <laughs> we're done with Sevy. we got a lefty let's go to Norris and uh left oh, Come on, double play. Oh, a single, a 
walk. Okay. Line out, a ground out. Come on, at least bring in the run. Dance B, there we go. The best hair in baseball. Love to see it. And then we're going to go pitching change again. We'll go Romano and a home run. Uh, another home run. Ground out and a fly out. All right, so we're we're still close. It's still not over yet. We, we got to bring it in. I can't even get a sack fly to work. Is that is that really how we're working today's game? Can't even get a sack fly to work. Um, we need to score. We need one more run, and Josh Bell provides it. Makes it a nine to six game. Nice. And then Nishi brings in another one. And look at this. Oh, I didn't mean to have that happen, but we're up four. So. Kavinsky closes it out, wins us the World Series, and there we go. Josh Bell had three walks, went two for two with the home run. Talk about a game. We get the dub, World Series is ours, awards, Josh Bell MVP, playoff MVP went to IKF. Now let's go take a look at how we did pitching-wise. So pitchers, you know, four ERAs. Freeland was probably our best one. You look at the bullpen, it looked like they got their stuff together for sure, especially Jimenez. He was like, hey, coach kind of suck during the regular year please please keep me around i'll show you what's what look what he does next up lineup wise ikf showed up we got otani bell gallo devers i mean honestly besides like what newt bar and swanson everybody was kind of good gallo three home runs 11 rbis yeah the average is low is kind of what you expect from him but overall not bad i, I mean i did get oh, i can't lie i can't lie i got super lucky in free agency super cheap deals uh, um Devers, I'm looking at it. Bell, Gallo, Bellinger. Like, I did get super lucky. Even the pitching, I feel like I got super lucky with as well. There it is. The free agent only rebuild. Only players from free agency. No Rule 5 draft. No trades. No waivers. Nothing like that. Only through free agency. And I'll even show you. I stayed within budget. I stayed within budget. Look how much money we got to work with. I did the business. And like I said, I did get lucky. I did. I did. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section down below, get involved. Tell me your favorite player. Tell me what you liked about the video. All that good stuff. What video to see next? I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom. Right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.